everyone how are you it's Nikki welcome to mystical enlightenment welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new here so it is October 5th and I am so excited because yesterday was my birthday so that was awesome it was a good weekend and today I went out to the mailbox and I got my witch's moon subscription box so this is how it comes in a plain gray wrapper, if you haven't seen it before. So I'm gonna do the unwrapping with you guys like I do every month. And I'm kind of excited about this one because it's Samhain. I have not gotten any subscription boxes on Samhain before. This is my first few months getting a subscription box. So I'm very excited for this one. And I can already smell a scent as soon as I opened up the mailbox. I could smell the scent. I can't place it though. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time placing it. So for those of you who have not seen how the witch's box, what it looks like, this is the witch's box, the witch's root. This is the smallest one. And the box is quite lovely with these floral imprints on it. Oh yes, I can totally smell that. It smells amazing. So I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like when you open it. So when you open the box, this is what you see. And the first thing, this parchment with the little twine, I'm just going to take a peek at and see what the theme is. I don't read that until the end because I don't want to, um, I want to be surprised by everything. So it says the guided seer is the theme of the month. The guided seer. There you go. So, ooh. The first thing we have is the Hamas, ha, Hamasa. Prevalent in the, the Middle East, North Africa, and Levant. The Hamasa is an amulet which traditionally depicts the open right hand, fingers pointed up, it repels harmful energies. So we always get artwork. So this is the first artwork of the month. Beautiful. That'll be perfect for my uh, Book of Shadows. And then it looks like Motherwort is going to be the herb of the month. So we get a nice little art piece on Mother Wart. I think that's, yeah, Mother Wart. I was questioning myself because I was thinking we had Mug Wart. It can't be Mug Wart, but I was questioning myself. So then when you open up the box, you see how everything is wrapped nicely with this little... I always try and reuse this in packages when I give gifts, so I save it every month. So the first thing we have is this little pouch with a crystal in it. And I believe this looks like an opalite. It's really quite beautiful. So I'll take a peek after I open everything to go back and check the crystal, but I believe it's an opalite. Ooh. Then we have this pendant or not pendant, um, like a charm that has the goddess on it. And it says on the back, it says dream. So I think I will be putting that in my pillow tonight. It says, dream. That's beautiful. 
And I love these little organza bags they give. I don't know if it's just me, I love them. So then we have Motherwort, which I don't know Motherwort. So I'm gonna look here and just read that part. It says Motherwort, an appropriate herb to work with during Samhain. Motherwort is an ancestral plant and is known and recognized for its wonderful magical purposes by many cultures and religions from around the world. For Celtic traditions to, from Celtic tra traditions to Sant Santeria, practiced throughout Central and South America. As we work to connect with ancestors and guides during these nights, Mother Wart is a stable companion providing relief for those that suffer a sense of loneliness and disconnection. It allows you safe passage as you correspond with divine energies and perform div divinatory practices. For those that feel vulnerable during this time, this is the perfect herb. It protects against bad luck and protects us against evil or ill latent spirits. Ooh, very cool. So this month is all about protection, I suppose. Okay, so now we have this, which I don't know what's in here, so we're going to see what's in here. Okay, I'm going to use the scissors and cut this one because it just doesn't want to play nice today. Okay. Don't want to cut what's in there, but... what this is feels like another crystal but I'm not sure oh I'm not sure why they oh no it's not another crystal a pendulum perhaps let's see ooh. I can't quite there we go ooh it is a pendulum I only got my first pendulum couple of months ago, maybe in June or July. So this is really cool. This looks like a rose quartz pendulum. And I don't know, maybe a pearl. It's beautiful. It's not, it's either not very long or it's knotted. Yeah, it's kind of knotted up, so I'll have to work it through. But I want to show you so you can see that's beautiful. Let's see if I can unknot it quickly. Do you work with pendulums? If you work with pendulums, let me know in the comments. Here we go. And if you do work with pendulums, what's your favorite kind? That is gorgeous. I love that. That is just beautiful. I can't wait to work with this. So that is beautiful. And then we have the candle. Ooh! I love the candles because every month you seem to get a different color. So this month we have, it looks like a very deep, and I can never get the tissue paper off elegantly. I don't know how people do, but I can't. This month we have a beautiful purple. This is a beeswax candle. Perfect for dressing. Absolutely stunning. And then we have some incense. This was what I was smelling. It reminds me of going to church in um, as a child. So I'm thinking of frankincense it doesn't say what it is it just says sanctuary ritual incense sticks so I'm not really sure what um, what the, the scent is but mmm smells amazing it smells like church as a kid for those of you that we're in the um, Catholic Church as a kid. And then we have the oil that we get every month. So let's 
try and get this one out. I can tell they're doing a better job wrapping the oils. A couple of months ago, I was getting oils that spilled and a couple of other people were, but I can see now they're doing a much better job with wrapping these oils. So that's awesome. So thank you to whoever's patching, packing the ritual oils. So this is Samhain Magical Anointment Oil. Wow. And if you look, well, let me smell it. Smell it first, right? It smells warm. I think I smell a hint of like orange maybe i'm not sure what else is in there it smells it smells like fall though I, I don't know exactly what's in there but it really smells like fall so if you can see and hopefully you can see you can see the little bits in there it's gorgeous i love these so usually it comes with a dropper and that's what I was looking for, but this month it did not come with a dropper, so that's a little disappointing. Let me see if it says, we have created this magical anointment oil with the intentions of enhancing the energy that surrounds you. So you may receive relevant messages and signs during this season. This is a wonderful oil to anoint magical tools with, as well as statues, coins, and talismans, and may be used on the nights. We have enchanted this magical oil with anise, clove, yang, y l a n g y l a n g lang lang oil, um, sandalwood oil, and have included mugwort and yarrow as well inside your oil. You will find a lumerian quartz said to personify oneness with your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our thinning veil magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into, the, this, into this mixture of oil. The base of this oil is sunflower oil uh, for external use only. Okay, so this is an amazing oil and I am so excited to use it. I just Wish it had a dropper because I want to use it right away and use it all month long, like a million times because it's so amazing. Um, but I will just take a dropper from one of the other bottles from the previous months. So anyway, I am very happy with this month. Um, I'm excited to see with using all this stuff, if I'm able to get any messages from those on the other side. Um, yeah. I'm I'm happy with it, but I have to say I was really excited about the Samhain box and I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I felt like maybe we would get something a little bit more Samhain-y, but maybe that's Halloween and maybe I'm mixing the two holidays up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think of this box. And if you have any subscription boxes that you guys get and you feel like it was more samhain or had more of that feel to it, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for different boxes to try. I do love the Witch's Root box though. I have to say that. Um, and also, if you do unboxings and you unboxed a Samhain box or a box for October, let me know in the links so I can check yours out. All right, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm going to go put this stuff out <coughs> so I can get started with it right away. Love you guys. Be well. Have a wonderful day. And I'll put a picture of everything that was in this box on the <coughs> um, thumbnail for this video. If you haven't liked or subscribed to my video yet, <coughs> please do so. 
that helps me out a lot. All right. Like I said before, be well, have a wonderful week. Bye guys.